Yeah, she can heal Geralt. She could heal herself since she's more important than Geralt in this battle. But eh. And I'm gonna stay away with Squirtle since actually I do want him to live since he has the powering, which should be used on uh, Brailler. Yeah, that's okay. Now they've exposed themselves and I can take care of them at my own leisure. And yes, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Boom. Boom. And boom. What do you think of that? Hey? What do you think of that? And the Taurus can't reach me here or here. The Taurus can't move. It's one important notion. And let's go down here. And I'm not going to attack with Luke, because that puts him in range of Taros. That's better, actually. Gonna kill us a mass mage. Then hopefully, the Soul Soul will move one step further away from Taros and... Yeah, like that. And that is fine. And we can kill it. Yeah, still gonna use a heal. So, when I've killed the soul, soul sower, it's just a matter of setting the... setting all everything up to attack Taros as efficiently as possible. And no, I'm gonna wait one turn to make sure the soul so dies before anything else happens. Uh, eight, so I guess I'll cast a uh, blaze level two and deal with this guy once and for all. Boom. Casino is well on his way to an another level, I think. Yeah, 98. <laughs> so, what I want to do is make sure my guys aren't too close to Taras, uh, but also that they will be able to reach Braille for an emergency healing, should I need it. And... Uh, no one... It doesn't really matter. You might think I'm too... Uh, generous with her magic, magic points at this point for... But... Trust me, it will... It won't matter very much. And now... Oh, sorry. I'm gonna do this. Power Yeah! Attack was boosted by 10. And... The powering didn't crack, which is nice. And there's Taurus two turns. So... And again, this is risky, but I'm not gonna use save states. I'm gonna be a man. Or a woman. No, I'm not a woman, but... Um, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna be tough. Uh, so, he's at the mercy of Taros for the moment. Ow. Good. 
here. Thank you. and heal Brader as much as possible. If another character dies, it's no big deal. But uh, if Brader dies, it's basically the end of the world. There we go. Yeah. So, uh, the way the uh, boost thing works, it, it increases his attack by 10, and then it kind of drops off one step at a time. 15, right? I think he should. Unless Taurus gets two attacks here. Good. Slay doesn't have any more healing items, but I'm sure I'll find someone else who does, like Luke. There we go. Hmm. And Sarah can, if she wishes to, she can heal him. No. I'll just attack Taros. Taros. One. Really? Alright. Let's uh, use the last heal. I'm not sure if Taurus is susceptible to magic. To like slow or stuff. Oh, yeah, that's a new spell that Sarah achieved, achieved through leveling. Slow. It basic, basically lowers agility and defense on an enemy creature. So now it's just the nervous two-turn Taurus clock here. Yeah, I'm gonna just be safe. I'm gonna use a healing seed on Prater. And Squirtle might die from like the bolt attack or something. No, he doesn't use the bolt. So, I think we're safe now. Yeah, not gonna use another healing seed. Of course, it's possible that Taurus dodges, I think, but no. So, it's like a David and Goliath story, isn't it? And the battle is over. Ooh. <laughs> and he just disappears into thin air. Really, you're much stronger than I thought. Amazing how many guys who in this game who know how to teleport. It's so small. I'll just try to get inside. Oh, he's gone. I hope he comes back. Did the road lie to us? <laughs> yeah, that's the sound effect of a caravan, caravan all right. I never lie. The ancients were. How should I say this? Wait. Yeah, that's a hard word to think about. No wonder the caravan is so small. It carries mini mi mini <laughs> miniaturized 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 people and items. I can ride this excellent vehicle. May I go with you as the driver? Grow the historian tags along with the force. Row joins the force for a second time. 
You're kidding, right? Well, at least we can bring a lot of soldiers with us. But soldiers in the cavern cannot enter battle because they've been miniaturized. That's a hard word. Well, just have to see. <laughs> I don't like this guy. But you're a douche, Peter. I wonder what adventures we'll find with this cavern. And now we have a caravan and can go on holidays with it or something. Healing water. This is special kind of uh, thing. Uh, just take a look at it. Take a look at it now. Yeah, it's basically like a jar full of healing drops, like this one. So it heals the character fully. I think that's. I think at least a jar of healing drops is the flavor of it. And we've done with our second boss battle of the game, second true boss battle. And now we're we're moving about like this with a caravan, and we can do this, which is very convenient. Join. We can join and purge people from our party. But right now we're uh, not yet. We don't yet have 12 characters in a party, so I'm not going to do anything about that. But I'm going to store a few items like bright honey, uh, mithril, protect milk, until I'm sure of who I'm going to use them on. And power water and uh, uh, mithril. This might be boring to watch, but I don't think it will take that much time. Mithril. Healing water, I'm gonna save that for uh, the final battles. Sort of. Silver tank. And... Uh, Mithril. Uh, quick chicken. Running Pimento, not quite sure I'm, who I'm going to use that one either, yet. So when I am sure, I'm going to remove it from the cabinet. And uh, so everything we put, we deposit here is like stored in the cabinet, and um, I can bring it out whenever I wish. Good thing is it doesn't take a slot in our in inventory, so. I am gonna go, yeah, just to show you what happens next. This is, you, you see this rocky part of the river where I couldn't go with um, the boat? Or maybe you didn't know I couldn't go on it, but I can't go in this part of the river with the boat. But I can go with at it with Karen. And first we're gonna go in here. And find a dry stone, which is useful later in the game. So they came to look for Mithril and found a dry, dry stone. One of us went to look for the fairy. I hope he's alright. Oh, I'm so cold. Poor guy. Alright, my friend is sick now and we can't dig out the tunnel without him. You might notice that I'm clicking away the bubbles, the lines. I don't know, or text. Yeah, quite quickly. And here we have an elven town. Slightly secretive. And uh, there are a few guys here. And uh, a fairy powder. I believe fairy powder heals uh, is like an antidote level 2. So it heals uh, Creed's mansion. Yeah. Elric. 
name that mentions strange, strange names. Yeah. Secret book. Uh, yeah. Uh, blah blah blah. What? Are, what? The uh, fairy powder. It's like antidote level two, so you can heal paralysis as well as poison. I think that's what it does. Anyway, there are a few th secret things to do here. Um, yeah, don't really need to search all the bookcases now that I've found the secret book. Um, and the secret book, it sounds epic, doesn't it? And it is quite epic. What it does, I'm sh gonna show you later on. And here's the bigger ball. Also a special thing. Which I'm gonna use quite soon, I believe. Yeah. I'm gonna... Hmm. Let's see. I can go right there and... Uh, and there's an intro. Uh, you see this little tunnel. It leads to like a special battle where you can level up your characters. But right now I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how it looks later on, maybe. But the the enemies in that battle are quite tough, actually. So if I if I go left here, I'm gonna walk into another battle. So I'm gonna go back to the village and save up and stuff. Um, maybe no, I'm gonna go here because there's a new guy in town here. I'm gonna finish all these small things before ending the episode. Here we go. Are you the boy who killed the legendary kraken? I got ha I got your hat some thanks to you. I didn't know this was such a dull town. Whoa, what's that? It's the cavern, an ancient vehicle found in the tribe. Shut up, Peter. I love interesting things like that. Oh, you found it. I want to go through with you to see some more interesting things. Yeah, it looks like a teenager, yeah, sort of. Rick the Knitter has joined the force. And we have another Knitter. Adventure! Yo ho ho! Let's go! So... And we have this guy. And does he have any deals? No. But he has stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, Jaha can use this axe. Gonna give it to Cassim for the time being. And I'm gonna go with Power Spear. And Chesser is gonna get to use that. Uh, give it to Slade for the time being. And um, Robin Arrow. No, May can't use it. I need to promote her first. And well that's it then, I guess. The sword is... Yeah, I'm quite sure I can't use the sword right now. Let's just check to be sure. No, not Battle Axe. Broadsword. Yeah, can't use it quite yet. So I need to be promoted first. I'm gonna give... Uh, the Battle Axe to Jaha in exchange for Mithril. And... Uh, Equip him with it. And then I'm gonna give the power spear to Chester in exchange for the spear, I guess. And I'm gonna equip Chester with that. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so Rick 
the tiny sword on the left indicates that they are in the fighting force. So Rick is in the fighting force now, meaning I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 10, I mean, I can't count, 11, 12. So I have exactly tw 12 characters now, and the next character I get won't have that sword beside him, meaning that that uh, character won't be in combat, so I have to manually enter the caravan and exchange that guy for another one if I want to use him. So I'm gonna just quickly sell a couple things here. Ooh, I'm gonna buy um, Rick the power spear as well. Sell the power axe. Sell spear. And uh, gonna sell the steel lance, lance as well. And then I'm gonna buy another power spear. And he equips it right away. Twenty-three thousand gold. So you s you can see these weapons are quite pricey, but no problem for my economy. Ha <laughs> I laugh in the face of those prices. So. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up my characters a bit more, maybe to level 25 or something, um, before I promote them. And it won't be that much of a problem to do that. Um, maybe... Yeah, I think I will actually promote Kazin. Because I want him to start gaining levels in his new class. And maybe Sarah as well, because uh, regardless of um, yeah, power leveling her is easier than the other ones since, since she will get like uh, full, uh, a full 10 XP from healing still and that's her main way of gaining levels. And she gets much better when promoted. Especially with the stuff I have here to promote her with. Um, anyway, bought a few healing seeds. And in the Elven Town there's no store, so I have to do all that business here. So I'm gonna save the game and. Um, because no one can. yeah. Um, and if I promote characters, I'm gonna do that next time. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!